Hi, I'm Tiago, and this video is about Giotto, a painter and architect from Florence from the late Middle Ages. Giotto di Borbone was born in 1266 nearby Florence. A great Florentine painter, Zimbabwe, discovered Giotto drawing sheep, and they were so lifelike that he asked if he wanted to be his apprentice. Giotto is often regarded as the artist who reintroduced realistic expression to Western art. Later on, Zimbabwe went to Assisi to paint several frescoes for the Basilica of St. Francis of Assisi, and it is believed that Giotto went with him. Around 1305, Giotto executed his most influential work, the painted decoration of the Scovegni Church in Padua. This painting depicts the life of the Virgin and the life of Christ, and is considered a masterpiece of the early Renaissance. Giotto's figures are not stylized like the Byzantine models of his contemporaries. They are three-dimensional and are based in close observation. Their garments are hanging and have form and weight. The biographer Giorgio Vasari claims that Giotto made the break between Byzantine art and introduced the technique of drawing accurately from life. He also took bold steps in the foreshortening and creating the illusion of space. This makes the viewer feel as having a part in the scene. Also, Giotto's depiction of the human face and expression sets him apart from his contemporaries. Giotto might have been responsible for reintroducing the true technique of the fresco in the Western art. This allows more durable murals. In 1328, he was called by King Robert to Naples, and in 1332, he was named the first court painter with a yearly pension. After Naples, Giotto stayed for a while in Bologna, and in 1334 he was appointed the chief architect of the Florence Cathedral. In his final years, Giotto had become friends with Boccaccio and Sacchetti, who featured him in their stories. Giotto died in Santa Maria del Fiore in 1337. What inspires me the most about his work is the volumetric depth of his paintings that still manage to retain a medieval feel to it, as well as the intense colors of his frescoes. So now let's watch some of my favorite paintings of his. Thank you so much for watching, I do this series every week so don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss an episode. See you next time, bye!